I'm Chris from PDK.com. And I'm Jeremy Moskowitz from Policy Pack Software. Wonderful. We're here. We're going to show you how to take control of your start menu and your taskbar utilizing Deploy and Policy Pack. Awesome. So let's take a look at some at a, like what Windows gives you as a start menu. Let me ask you a question. In support land, <laughs> do, you, do you get a lot of people who like this or not many people who like this? Oh, I like this. It says no one ever. It says no one ever. Right. Man, happen. wouldn't it be amazing if you could deploy <laughs> the right software that you wanted and then customize the start screen based upon what the user's experience needs to be. Wouldn't that be amazing? A novel idea right there. So let's do that. So I'm going to have you, if you wouldn't cool. mind, use PDQ Deploy. Let's go ahead and get Acrobat deployed, say VLC deployed, okay. Firefox, and Chrome. So four let's packages. Let's do that. In fact, with a Deploy, you can actually multi deploy multiple packages at the same time to 1, 10, 100, however many computers you want to do this to. That's good. So this will be Win 10 Computer 2. Computer 2. And if yes. I didn't spell things right, it looks you like did. it did. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Good. Let's do this. All right. Great. And it's going to start with those, and it should be pretty quick. We'll have these installed. We'll have configured. We'll have users that have all these icons yeah. wherever they want them and, to be. And that's the thing, right? So even when this is done, and you, you, you know this, but for, for the sake of our audience, what's going to happen is that nothing magical is going to show up here. It'll be in an alphabetical list. That's yep. fine. But that doesn't really help most of your users. You've got a nurse who wants to log on and get to their BrainScan 12 app. You want to get it right there, right in a group, okay? In their face. Right in their face. Or, you know, all, all the office stuff or all the yeah. browsers, whatever's important to them. You don't want to waste time having users try to figure out. So after it's deployed, the next thing we're going to do is make sure we can get it, you know, cleaned up for the user and ready to rock. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look. If you don't mind, I'm going to go to Control Panel and see how we are in our deploy. Here we're doing the trust but verify thing going on right here. Trust but verify. No. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uninstall and see what's going on. All right, nothing yet, but I, I expect it to show up pretty soon. So while we're waiting for that to kick in, let me go over to my management station. Now, on my management station computer, I actually have the same applications kind of ready to go, so just to make things go a little bit faster. So in order to create the policy, I'm going to go to my web policy pack uh, people awesome. here. All right, and I'm going to, no, web engineers. That's where these guys are, web engineers. So I'm going to call them uh, start screen for engineers, okay? And you might have different start screen for your HR or whoever, and the best part is they can have the same applications but different categories and groups. Oh, perfect. That's, we, we love organizing stuff. I know I do. All right, so go ahead and click on start screen for engineers here. And we'll, we can do this on either the user side or the computer side. I'm going to do this on the user side, but you could have it on computer side if you wanted. So user side, policy pack. We're going to go ahead and dive down under the Start Screen and Taskbar Manager. So Start Screen first, we'll do Taskbar second. And we're going to create a brand new, add a new collection. And collection is going to be how we're going to define this. So do you like the idea where we're going to leave everything that Microsoft has and then let users uh, add their own things plus our things? Or should we just nuke everything off the map? I like nuking everything. It's, I want control. All right, nuke everything off the map. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to do it yourself, you could leave what the user has in place or what Microsoft has in place and then let people add. But we're going to say full replace, and that's the end of it right there. And we'll give you one last shot because we're about to go nuke it. <laughs> we're doing it. We're really going to do this thing. So there's that's how that's our, how we're establishing that. Good. And then I'm going to right click and add. I'll create two groups. The first group I'll add. I'll call this like biz apps or something okay. like that. So biz apps. And then I'll create another group called browsers, something like that, because we deployed four things. A so new group called browsers. Awesome. Browsers. Does this group name mean anything, or is it is yeah. it arbitrary, or is it going to actually show up in? The this is the name of the group. They're going to click. Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to click on Biz Apps, and inside there, I'm going to use, like I said, my machine has these, so I'm going to point to my machine for a new desktop application tile. So I'm going to okay. go ahead and pick the Acrobat Reader on my machine, which is the same on their machine, and I'll go ahead and click right here. Let's go pull those. Yep. It's good pulling all those. And we have a lot on this particular machine. And there's Acrobat Reader DC is the first one. And we'll pick this medium tile here. And we'll call and this part, this is just the policy name, call it Acro Reader. They don't see this part. And then the second thing we'll do, we'll create another one for VLC Media Player, okay, which I also happen to have on this machine. <clears throat> so go ahead. And it's probably at the bottom. So type VLC and just there we go oh, there. Handy. Yeah, it's really handy right there. Yep. Click on this guy. You know, while we're here, uh, I'll also why don't I why don't I put on one of those big Windows apps like Calculator or Weather or something oh, yeah, like that? Oh yeah, gigantic. It's gigantic, yeah, exactly. Yes. That's a Windows Universal app. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna pull what's on this machine as well. I'll go ahead and click next. It takes a second to populate what's coming here, and I'll pick on Calculator. And the thing about the the big applications is that you can pick a big tile. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these big old tiles right there, and I'll call this big old calc. That's right. We're gonna take up all the space. Yes. 
big old calc. All right, great. And for browsers, it's a simple too. We'll just right click and add a new desktop tile. And I said Firefox and Chrome. Pick this guy. I think it. I think it's under M for Mozilla, but I can't quite remember. Oh, Firefox. I was wrong. Firefox. And pick the medium tile. And then maybe should we make a Chrome tile really small? Let's do it. All right. So Firefox. Make them work to find Chrome. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and take this guy too, and pick this guy, and pick Chrome as our second guy. Google, this really looks Google. like a really straightforward and easy process. It, uh, we, we try to make it as hard as possible <laughs> to get you toward your goal. Okay. So Chrome, and it, you know we didn't really talk about it, but it, I'm sure people saw you can change not only the size but also the spacing of where the oh, icons okay. are. Wonderful. Okay, we also have a little thing that will best fit it for you if that's something you want to do as well. That's it. We've created it. Let's go back to your machine. Okay. okay. It's all done. Let's go check it out. All right, we'll go back. I'll hit F5 to refresh and you are correct, okay, sir. Um, all right. So, now let's do this in real time. Let's let's set the stage again. <laughs> You've deployed all of your applications using PDQ. Okay. You've predefined or later put on your policy pack policy settings for your start menu. Let's, here we go, here's the start menu. Let's go back over. We're gonna run a handy dandy GP update. I'm assuming magic's at work here. Like there's gonna be a little bit of uh, incantation. Uh, hopefully not, that's the whole point. Hopefully no incantation needed. We're just gonna run GP update slash force. Okay. Get the latest greatest policy settings. And if all goes well in real time, we're gonna nuke the start menu and put just the two groups that we declared on and only those guys. This is one of those amazing things. Oh my goodness, there it is. Oh, missing application. What's missing? Well, that's actually kind of a feature, so we might as well see what's <laughs> what's missing. Uh, what do we? Firefox. Firefox. Did we? You know what? What's that? I just realized mine. My, my folly. I saw Mozilla and stopped reading uh, on our. Well, this is great. Deploy. I'm super happy about this. Now, this is perfect. Perfect. Th this is a feature only that you can only do in Postback Land. So we told you that we wanted to do Firefox. And this is great, so that you you made a mistake, but you had it you had it on the start menu. So now what we're gonna do, let's just do this in real time. Go ahead yeah. and use PDQ, deploy Firefox, and then we'll run GP update and see if magic happens. You might, you might have to log off and log back on, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. And I think I grabbed Thunderbird rather than Firefox. Let's okay. go grab that real great. quick. It's a small download. I love it. Let's go find it. I see Thunderbirds. Let's do Firefox. This should be a quick one. Looks like we're on version 59. Shut down that. It is there. Okay. So. And get it over to that machine, right? Yep. Be quick. And that was Win, Win 10, 10 Computer 2. two. Yeah. Wonderful. Now let's do it. Well, while we're getting there, why don't we talk about the taskbar? Ooh. Would it be interesting to put some of your important applications also in the taskbar to guarantee that they're right there in the face of users? Yes, please. Okay, let's, let's please. So let's go ahead and put, I don't know, let's do um, Chrome and Calc. Okay. Okay, great. So let's go back over to our GPMC machine. We're going to put it in the same GPO. That's totally fine. Okay. And we're looking for the taskbar manager. So right click. Again, we try to make it as hard as possible. <laughs> we make a collection. Wait, I think last time we nuked. Why don't this time we just let people add stuff? Okay, okay so we'll leave we'll what's in nice. place. And we'll merge, so we'll leave merge in place. Okay. okay. So merge says go ahead and leave what the user has in place and put your own stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and add a new universal app. We'll do big calc first. Why not? Although okay. it doesn't look big there, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and pick calc, and then we'll say calc on taskbar. And then the second thing we'll do is we'll do Chrome. So new desktop app, and that's registered. And then we'll go ahead and pick Google Chrome. There you go, Google Chrome, and click Next, and Chrome, and there we go. Now, for this policy setting to kick in, we're going to do another GP update, but this puppy only kicks in when you log off and log back on. Okay. So we're going to, you won't see any change immediately, but you will the very next time you log on. So now I'm sure Firefox is done, but let's go to Control Panel and double check. Oh, there it is. Oh, I can see that. Oh, my goodness. Come on. That's amazing. So that's the whole <laughs> point, right? So now let's go through that again. We deployed some stuff using PDQ, but we made a small mistake. No problem. PolishPack told us as the end user to tell you, the admin, about the mistake. You then fix the mistake with PDQ deploy, and your start menu is all rectified. So that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and log off. We're going to go ahead and sign out just to see the taskbar the very last mile here. Right. We'll find Win 10 Computer 2. We'll go ahead and double click and log back on. And here we are. And then go ahead and watch the watch the, the taskbar. There we go. It's merging oh. and adds in both calc and uh, our Chrome. And just like that. That is wonderful. That, that, that takes 
a very complex process for the, the taskbar makes it really easy. Yep. Uh, oh, that is fantastic. Well, thanks for having me uh, on the video. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you.